in this video we're going to be talking about uh, or looking at another question uh, removing duplicates from sorted array okay so um this is a very interesting question now um I'm going to warn you actually this is going to be a, a little bit complex uh, but uh, please uh, follow along and uh, repeat as many times as it takes to understand uh, the question and uh, once you um, uh, try to take an attempt uh, and you look at the solution take a look at like you know multiple times to understand it properly okay so with that said um let's take a look what the question is so we need to remove uh, duplicates from the array and removal of the duplicate has to happen in place what does that mean so basically let's say we have this array one two one 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 two okay so uh, the removal of duplicate has to happen in place that means we're going to move this two in here because one and one are the same so they are duplicate, but one and two are not same. So we're gonna just swap these values and we're gonna say one and two, okay? Uh, now, uh, because this is in place, uh, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna keep uh, the front of the array unique and leave the rest of the array as is uh, because we have a restriction of uh, not allocating any extra space. And we only we are only getting O of one extra space. That means we can only create one extra variable to do the computation. Okay, so I hope that is clear. Let's take a look at another uh, array example. So we have zero zero one 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 two 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 three three four. Okay, in this case, um, what we are uh, the way we are actually gonna do the in place um, uh, in place um, removal is zero one two three four. And after that, like, you know, everything that remains is gibberish. Now, the uh, the interviewer may ask you for the length. I mean, in this question, you're gonna return the length, but they may ask you for the actual array. I mean, they're not gonna ask you for an, uh, to return actual array because they're saying like, you know, do not allocate any extra memory, but in Swift, you can actually uh, return the length and um, basically they can, from there, uh, they can ask you to uh, run a loop from uh, zeroth index up to that length to print everything to see if the uh, if the array, the length that you have provided, is giving you the unique variables, the unique items or not. Okay, but in any case, we are only required to return length um, uh, up to, up until basically there is a unique. Uh, unique element, unique elements are present, okay? So it's, it's a rather complex question. So once again, like, you know, take a look at one more time and try to understand, um, then take a stab at it. So pause the video here, take a stab at it and come back and see what kind of algorithm uh, that uh, we have created and compare your you know, algorithm with that too, um, just to learn a little bit more how we are actually twisting and turning uh, simple conditions to come up with the solution. Okay, so pause the video here and come back to check the solution. All right, hope that went well. So um, we are going to uh, continue from here and we are gonna take a look at the solution now. Believe it or not, this is the solution. Um, solution is very simple. Uh, like I said, like, you know, we just need to twist and turn a few things and we're gonna get the solution. Basically what we're gonna do, First, we're gonna check if the array is not empty, okay? Then we're gonna, remember, we have that one extra space, one extra uh, memory of one. So we're gonna create an index uh, with value zero. Now, this index is only gonna increment when these two, this condition is met. Basically, the when current, when the current number we are iterating on is not equal to the number at this index okay so initially when you're going to actually loop into so let's take a look at this example so when you enter the loop you're going to say uh, index uh, value of the index is zero and current item that we are iterating over is one so you're going to say array uh, one is the item 
an array of index zero is also one. So one is equal to one. That means this condition does not satisfy. So we're gonna basically continue. Then we reach here. So one is um, uh, the item and array index is still at um, still at zero, okay? So, sorry, um, the array, uh, the array uh, here, uh, so index value did, did not change. Um, so the, uh, this value is item is one and array at zero is also one, okay? So this is gonna continue forward, all right. Next, we reach at two, the item is two, okay? And then your um, index is uh, still zero, okay? So one and two, uh, so basically index zero, one and two are not same, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is increment. So we're gonna enter this condition. So we increment the index. So we increment the index by one, okay? And uh, with that one incremented, we're gonna take this value and move it at this location. So that's what we're doing. So we're saying in uh, number, basically the array, uh, and the index, so get the index, the index values has now increased to one um, and insert that number that we are currently iterating over. So we are iterating over two, so we're gonna insert two here. So it, this becomes one and two. Now, we're gonna loop over all the elements like that and we're gonna return index plus one. Because index is uh, starting at zero, because arrays index are zero based in Swift and most of the other languages, uh, the length is always plus one. Okay, so that's why we are actually going to return plus one. So we're going to get that solution. So hope that made uh, like, you know, um, understanding a little bit more easier, like how this is actually working. If not, uh, let's take a uh, look at the uh, repo um, to see the implementation and hopefully that's going to clear things up. So we're going to create a function, remove loops. It's going to take an array. And that's going to return an, uh, an integer, basically, basically the length. Okay. First, we're going to check if the array dot count is less than or equal to zero. If it is, then we're going to simply return zero here. Okay. Now we're going to create our index. So index zero. And we're going to say for uh, item in array. Okay. And we're gonna say if the item, right, is not equal to the item at index. So it's not equal to the value of the array at index. Then increment the index. And uh, basically after incrementing, insert the current item into that at that location okay so that's about it and we're going to return index plus one okay so this way uh we actually get uh over like you know just go over the loop once and uh find if the item if the previous item where the index was is not equal to the current item that means we found the unique values so we're gonna swap there. Um, we're gonna increment uh, the index by one, and then swap that value, uh, swap the current number into that. Okay. So let's take an example, and then we're gonna actually put some more uh, bunch there, a bunch of print statements, and see how it's executing one by one. So remove dupes, and I'm gonna say one, two, um, one, one, two, one, one, two example. And we run this, uh, we're going to get, um, okay, so what we need to do, Swift does not allow uh, the array to be modified, so we're going to create an array, and we're simply going to say, okay, so we get two, right? Uh, two is the length. Okay, so now we can put some um, uh, print statement, so we're going to say print the uh, array, 
effect print um, item. Basically, let's see which item we are iterating over. Uh, print index. Okay. Now here we're gonna when we enter, we're gonna print the index uh, and the so we're gonna print. Uh, index once again, and we are also going to print array uh, item at that index, okay, and um, then we should print our updated um, array one more time, okay? Because we are actually updating the array, we should see how uh, that actually looks. The newer one, okay. So let's run it. And as you can see here, uh, initially the array was one, one, two. Uh, the item was one and the index was zero, okay? Then uh, our array did not change, okay? So uh, we, went over and uh, like, you know, entered the loop again. Uh, so that's what this is printing array again, one, one, two. The item become one, it becomes one. Uh, and the index is still zero because we haven't found the distinct value. Uh, now we went over like, you know, and went to another array. Um, now in the next array, we printed one, one, two once again, the item is two now. Okay, so two, that means uh, it's actually gonna enter this because item is two and array at index, which is one, right? They are not equal, okay? So it's gonna enter there. Uh, we're gonna increment the uh, value for the index. Um, so index becomes from zero to one. Um, and then we insert that item into first index. So it be, the array becomes one, two, two, and uh, the length becomes zero, uh, sorry, two, right? So two is the length where we could find unique elements within our array, okay? So with that example, uh, let me post, let me put this another, um, the big uh, number, big input one, um, I can see how this one goes. So there's more detail, like, you know, as you can see, and you can go over this, but eventually uh, you're gonna get zero, one, two, three, and four. These are all the unique elements uh, at the beginning and all the discarded values are at the end and the length of the array becomes five, okay? So that's how we actually compute, uh, we uh, basically compute uh, or remove duplicates. Now, uh, if you're, uh, if your uh, interviewer wanted, what they could easily do is they could say, um, I wanna print all the unique numbers. So they could say for uh, I in um, zero, two, or less than, remove dupes, right? And then you simply enter that and you say, print so let's take let's create arr is equal to this we can supply arr here and print arr i okay so whatever remove dupes is going to provide us right uh, that's the length that we're gonna run. Um, oh, or this this variable didn't have, never change. Um, oh yeah, so we we can do in and out. Um, we can actually return two things. Uh, we can also we can return a tuple actually, or actually you know what. Um, now, 
this is something that I'm gonna I'm just showing you like you know how you can actually print those unique values. So that's what that's what I'm showing you. But like you know, uh, just feel free to always supply your input as uh, as a part of the parameter. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna say var. So we're gonna take this one. And we're gonna say var array, right? And we're gonna just remove this now. We simply are going to remove this one. Don't need that. And um, now here, we simply say array. Now this will actually modify our actual array. So let's see. Oh, that does not take anything. Yeah, that's right. So this should modify our array. More time, and we don't need this. There we go. So zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, just to print uh, all those unique values up to where the length is. So that actually gives you the idea how you can actually get the unique values out of an array that does not have all the unique values. And uh, beyond that point that you get, like you know, the length, everything can be discarded. Okay. So that's your solution uh, of n time complexity, once again, uh, to remove duplicates from an array. Okay, so thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.